Yeah, this is Ray with G-Works, Tata Shot the Tool, verse 14. Zellia is a good works, eager to doing what is good. Um, G-Works is a business that represents dirt for gold, reach eternal life through Christ, and keep the cross moving. Um, I'm talking about um, um, some current events that's going on um, and CNN, looking at the news. And um, um, there was a poor man, there was a poor man on when I was looking at CNN news, look, there was a poor man that got um, tasered and he ended up getting murdered and killed. And um, that's that's what the report says. Um, but anyway, um, um, before he was killed, when I looked at it, I just want to give my viewpoints on it. Um, law enforcement is using corrupt conduct, using swear words, using cuss words, using profanity, you know, enticing the man, enticing the man in a, enticing the poor man to get angry and to use pro, use profanity as well. You know, I believe that there's evil spirits in the world. So when you feed on um, cuss words and profanity and naughty words, you entertain evil spirits and you bring evil spirits in, you know, and they begin to, uh, you end up being controlled by an evil spirit. So in this, in this position, law enforcement's had some wrongdoings within them. They had an evil nature within them. And the poor man also had an evil nature within him. Within him. And, um, and um, remember, um, I'm, I'm looking at this from a spiritual point of view. Christ is holy. He is perfect. He's pure. He don't sin. So Christ did not say foul words out of his mouth. But um, looking at it, you know, looking at it from a spiritual, another a spiritual point of view, Christ punished the upright through law enforcement and Christ punished those that are wicked and sinful through law enforcement as well. So um, I guess it's just best to be punished for upright cause, like in the book of um, um, First Peter, and read the book of First First Peter. It's just best to go through suffering for a good cause. Um, but checking out this video and looking at it, and um, and um. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, um, and well, I'm just gonna play the whole thing. And um, there is some swear swear words involved, so um, um, warn kids about this that human beings really shouldn't use swear words. Get out in front of you. Get out in front of you. No fucking running. Which one is it, dude? Both. I can't be for it. Well, you're going to have to do it real quick. Put your hands on your knees. No. You see my fist? Yeah, what about him? He's getting ready. Start punching, dude. You don't fuck this up. This sucks.
Put your hands on the back. Here's your hands on the back. Okay. 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 Put your hands on the back. 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 disturbing but you know it's very disturbing but I've been tasered before and I've been tasered by law enforcement before and I understand that law enforcement will taser you if you're doing the wrong thing and law enforcement also will taser you for doing the right thing but you know even if you're doing right um, law enforcement's will still taser you and still consider you as being a naughty person and a corrupt and an evil person. You know, you know, that's just the way how our society is. And you know, they will, you know, put put people on news and say that they were mentally ill and they were crazy, which I'm going through that I'm going through that phase right a right now. But, you know, um that's why I'm seeking after righteousness and seeking after God. Because God will use law enforcement to punish the wicked here on this earth. And God will use the law enforcement to punish the upright as well. So pretty much nobody is, nobody is off the hook. Um, every, the, the, the same punishment comes to both upright and and the un and the unjust you know but um um he said he's sorry you know